Welcome to another episode of 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One Star Tatama. Boom. So TNT, mm. we uh we watched a movie on DVD the other day. Oh Jesus. <laughs> we Tough. we pulled out the dusty old disc. Yo. It's so funny because it's like uh I am I we we both are of a certain age where like we've had DVD collections. We've watched tons of movies on DVD when we were younger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But when I saw you take a disc out of a case, put it into a designated player, and I saw that uh I'm going to throw up. <laughs> uh I saw the uh, I saw the DVD presentation menu pop up on the screen yeah. that you had to navigate with a with a remote control. I had to go into the and select the subtitles. Uh, and then when I hit play, it was like, do you want full screen or wide screen? Uh, <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, I was like, wow. It was the worst. This is, I mean, and it this is coming so from someone, gross. me. I used to have hundreds of DVDs. I used to work at a video no. store, so I got cheap movies all the time. I had no. a huge DVD collection. I'm looking at them right now, and it does not bother me when I'm seeing them sit on like a, a case yeah. or a shelf. But as soon as I saw the interaction that it took to watch a movie. Oh, I, it was gross. I but I have it. also... Like a few years ago when we moved into this place, I got rid of about half of them. You did. And man. then just recently you I had purged another purge, yeah. Two thirds of what yeah. I had left. I yeah. only have maybe was maybe like six sixty at the most. Mm -hmm. Like I'll probably, probably have a similar yeah, amount too. Twenty five or yeah, probably like fifty. You know, yeah. and those are just movies that I really like. You know, I still don't ever watch them because ninety percent of those are on some sort of free streaming service that I can watch anyway. Right. But this movie was not. It was uh we watched Freddy versus Jason. I'll just throw that out there. <laughs> It was, uh, this is going to date this, but we, I watched on Friday the 13th because I, I couldn't find any other Jason movie that wasn't yeah, 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 pay yeah. to watch. And, uh, man, times have a change. Kelly Rowland's throwing out gay slurs <laughs> in the movie. I mean, she called Freddy the F-bomb after he made a black joke, which I, you know, it, was, both that, of those. Wasn't it before? No, it was after. It, well, it was he was after. like, he was like, oh, dark meat. Oh, that's right. And then, and then she, she was says, like, what kind of F-bomb dresses like or whatever. Wearing a Christmas sweater yeah, in the, yeah, in the yeah, summer yeah. or something <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But still, it so, was okay. Kelly Rowland throwing out the F-bomb. Okay. Which, you know, solidifies her Marty Janetti. Is, is she bisexual? Because then maybe, then she's allowed. No, she's a definite Marty Janetti. Oh, she is absolutely. You ain't never going to catch Beyonce on tape throwing around the F-bomb. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That yeah. movie was so bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. It was uh, It was pretty It makes pretty me miss bad. Freddy and Jason movies, though, for sure. Yeah. Because like, if they came out with a new one every week, I'd be like, I'm in. Absolutely. But they would probably be equally as bad. I was thinking, uh, as far as like the whole DVD experience being nostalgic, do you remember the Pledge of Allegiance, Jonas? From school? Yeah, oh, from school. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Where else are we saying the Pledge of Allegiance? Yeah, dude. Nobody cares about America anymore. I pledge allegiance to the flag of United States of America yep. and to the republic yep. for which it stands, one nation under God. Let's talk about God. Indivisible. Yeah. With liberty and justice for all. Yeah. So separation of church and state, except for we've mentioned God every, every single day. Every single day. Yeah. Yo, and this is crazy because this is like, uh, for those who are too young to remember the Pledge of Allegiance, this is where... School children would have to. Everybody would turn to the flag that was put their hand over their heart that was displayed in the classroom. Put your hand over your heart, right hand over your heart, and everybody would say it. And it was commonplace. And nobody, as far as I know, nobody and I've ever met has like abstained or been like, "I'd like to be dismissed from this activity." Or anything and no one like thought that. it was weird. Nobody thought it was weird. Like it's literally your lit. If you think about it, pledge of allegiance. It is like a cult thing. <laughs> it is. I pledge my allegiance to the flag of the United States of it's America. It's some North Korean shit. Yeah, but <laughs> it is, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's some North Korean shit. Yeah, it then, is. Do they do that in the school anymore? No, no, absolutely not. Um. It stopped before we got out of school, to be honest. I believe that it stopped. Like, I think we were, I don't want to say the last generation, but I feel like in, we were one of the last generations did to. Did we do it in have middle it. school? I don't remember. I know in elementary school for sure it happened. 100% in elementary school, I remember knowing it. Yeah. But I don't huh. think, I don't. by the time I got to junior high, the Pledge of Allegiance was done. And maybe they only do it in elementary school. Uh, to get kids all hyped up about being American. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's that's very true. I guess I, I wouldn't know. Um, but I, I know for a fact that they do not do it anymore. 
If but you have a kid and you're listening to this, do your kids still have to say the Pledge of Allegiance in school? No, no, they're not doing that crap no more. They just man. take the God part because out. it's got, it's got too much controversy in it. And um, I, okay, so this is the thing: Americans, we have a very young culture here, right? Yeah, when I mean, you think as, about as comparable to other countries. That yeah, have been when you think forever. about Greece. Which has been around for yeah, even in England, England, I mean, yeah, thousands of years. India, thousands. Asia, thousands. Yeah, we're we're Jap- we're two hundred fifty years Japan, old essentially. Thousands. So yeah. we have a very young culture when it comes to American culture. A lot of people say that, that Americans have no culture, and to a certain extent, you're right because we haven't had. We're a hodgepodge time. of ever. We're, we're a million cultures put together here essentially, and we have not have had enough time to necessarily uh, f- to facilitate it to us to actually get a culture. So we don't really have one. And um, it, it's so funny because I was actually listening to somebody talk about the Kendrick Lamar uh, album and this got brought up and it just kind of like sparked some insight in me. It's like we ha- we don't really have a culture here because we haven't had enough time. So we're still trying to discover ourselves. Right, right. Yeah. So we're still making mistakes. We're still trying to figure out if like for fuck's sake we're still trying to figure out if abortion should be legal if gay marriage should be legal if, if interracial should be legal if whatever. interracial relationships should be legal that shit was just legalized like a hundred and some odd years ago you know right, it's right. still very very yeah, early i mean gay people only were, were only able to be married what not less than 10 years ago it, so it's, that's it's, what i'm saying so it's like and we're still arguing over like abortion and, still, and gay marriage exactly. and everything so it's yeah. we're in like a lot of cultures even like if you go to like muslim countries where a lot of like stuff that we look at and we're like oh my god that's gross behavior everybody's on board their culture yeah everybody's on board with that ish there and it it, and and that's the thing is that we're we're still trying to achieve here so pledge of allegiance that shit got canned it's gone we're not doing that anymore people used to be able to smoke on airplanes people used to think smoking was okay and we're like no we don't want to be a smoking culture like yeah because we're what in 1776 to 2022 like that's not even 250 years yeah, we haven't even hit a full century of existence yet. Yeah, yeah. like we're at a barely at a quarter of a, not even at a quarter of a century yet. Yeah, and you think about Rome's been around since eight BC. Yeah, exactly, you're Africa talking forever. Yeah, right. Ever, like, you know, Rome knows what Rome is. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you know, yeah. I guess so, that makes sense. We're so, we're like we're barely in junior high. So as much stuff as that we we still argue about, we still got to realize is that there's a lot of stuff that we do we do definitely agree about, like. How do you treat uh, a sex offender? Right. How, How do, do you, you like kids, uh, kids and elderly? I feel like th- th- we have some good laws here to help treat them yes, right. You yes. know, like because we, we've established the age of consent that is pretty much like every state is on board for. Now, I know it's a little different in some states where some states are like, oh, 16 is good. But yeah, there was even a couple that were 14 not long ago. But I think yeah, every, most yeah. times like you're old enough to vote. You're old enough to choose who you want to have mm-hmm. sex with. You're old enough to go to war. Still can't drink, odd, uh, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, but you know, hey. And some of the some of the growth I feel like has been stunted because of the way our our government is set up, where it's like we kind of like try to let the states do whatever they want. Yeah. But if you get too many like minded people who are like, uh, I don't think blacks and whites should marry, then <laughs> and then they all hang out in the same state, Texas. Then you know you never, <laughs> you never know. You never know. Right, right. No, I feel you, man. It's 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 interesting, and you know, by the time we're dead and gone. We ain't going to be any closer to being in a mature nation. Uh, no, we the unity won't come for many, 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 many years. But um, the other thing is that when a place doesn't have culture, then it only has like if a child is abused and it's seven years old. All it really knows in its life is that abuse. It hasn't had time to grow out of that. Right. So that child identifies with that abuse. So us as a fledgling country, certain people who live in this country have had a a very abusive relationship with the country, and it takes time to heal some of those. And what's kind of messed up is we got our power early, too. We went from yeah. from being young to being like in charge of the world, exactly. fast <laughs> to being one of the biggest with the most billionaire. I looked up and we have more billionaires than any other country on, on this planet. Yeah, dude, because we we, we we yeah, power to the people till yeah. the powerful get too strong, and then it's yeah. like oh. So we're sitting up here in a 16, 17 year old country, and it's just putting this in everything. We're basically a trust fund kid. <laughs> 
kind of, yeah, man. Kind right? of. We're a trust fund kid. We got all dad died early. Yeah. We got his money. We Let, got his power. Yeah, left us the business weapons. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> we're like weapons business. And we're all just like, let's fight over whether babies have rights. <laughs> like, and that's where we're at. You know what I mean? Like, rather than I'm not, like I'm not touching that one. No, but, but you know what I mean? I ain't touching it either. But that's where we're <laughs> That's where where we're at rather than yeah, like, yeah. hey, how can we do good for the world as this nation yeah. who has all this power and money yeah. and control? We're fighting about like little things in our world. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.